But let's start with our big three stories of the day. We've got a lot to talk about tonight. The United States launching attacks in Syria, targeting specific areas there, strategic stockholds of weapons from militia groups there, trying to take those out to prevent further uprisings <coughs> and unrest in that region. Plus, back here at home, some news. Yeah, that's right. You know, as the war continues in the Middle East, there is also a local update tonight from Ukrainians right here in our area. They say they still need help, and we'll bring you their message. Plus, Michael Burham reaching a plea deal in both the kidnapping charges he was facing and charges relating to his escape from the Warren County Jail earlier this year. We have details on those and what's next for the now guilty Michael Burham. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit more as we move to the main desk here. You're going to see our Ariana Moyer. She's going to talk trending news with us in just a little while. But right now, we want to talk about how uh, there's so much attention that seems to uh, be on the Israel-Hamas war since it started just about a month ago. The war in Ukraine continues to rage on as well, Ukraine and Russia. But today, local Ukrainians, those in the Erie area, called for America and the West's support, continued support for Ukraine as the country's war, again, continues tonight. In Warren County, jail escapee Michael Burham was back in court. He pleaded guilty to six charges related to the kidnapping of, of a Warren County couple and his subsequent escape from the local jail. That escape and the nine-day manhunt that followed garnered national attention this summer. Sentencing is set for early next year. Burham is yet to face any charges in Chautauqua County, though he is a suspect in a murder investigation there. 